Oh, hi. I'm Jen, and welcome to my vlog space. And this is Sean. Hello. <laughs> He's here with me for a vlog for a very specific reason that we will get to. But this vlog is kind of a... Uh, an announcement mm -hmm. vlog I guess but it's also like very dance related mm -hmm. so very big announcement very exciting little backstory before I get to it and I'm sure the title already says it um, <laughs> little backstory uh, I've been teaching at multiple studios in the Northeast Florida area for 10 years now 12 years now something like that um, and I've been at one in particular for uh, this was my 11th year and partway through the year, the owner of that studio really wanted to retire, which is totally fine. Like, she's she's been doing this for a really long time and wanted to retire. I totally get it. She was trying to sell the studio to a, a different studio to, like, have somebody take it over and then have, like, a branch A and a branch B, like, in different parts of town. Mm -hmm. She tried to get, like, another, like, a different studio to take it over. She was having the hardest time finding somebody to purchase the studio from her so that it would be able to keep going. And it got to the point where the end of the year was coming and she was like, I guess I'll just close the studio. And immediately when I heard that, I like, it was like a full stop in my life. I was like, wait, no, that can't happen. Because I've been with these kids. I've been with some of these kids at that studio for 11 years. And 11 years of a kid's life, even if they're 18, that means I've had them since they were seven. Mm -hmm. Like, that's pretty much their whole life, okay? And so I'm like, no, I, I can't. I can't let this happen to the studio. Mm -hmm. And then a little bit more backstory. We're getting married this summer, and we've been trying to buy a house. Mm -hmm. So I spent the entire last year saving up so that we could have, like, a down payment for a house. And that has not been going well. Uh, as you can imagine in this economy, uh, with interest rates being what they are, we're like, oh yeah, here's a house we can afford. And then we get the, the interest rate back and then the monthly price. And we're like, oh, never mind. Do you have like a shack? We can afford that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that hasn't been going super well. But I had the money saved up for a down payment. And I don't even remember if I asked you if I could or if I just said it I don't know I just I looked at my studio owner and I said I'll buy it and that's the announcement I bought a dance studio <laughs> it has been an absolute whirlwind I never wanted to own a dance studio ever I wanted to work at them I wanted to be the artistic director of one maybe I didn't want to own a dance studio, okay? Like, that was not in my future plans, ever. I don't want to deal with, like, ordering costumes and tuition and role and, and I don't want to deal with, like, marketing and, you know? <laughs> I just want to, I just want to make tap dances and teach. But I couldn't let the studio die because it is one of the best studios I've ever worked at. Hands down, one of the absolute best I've ever worked at, and I've worked at a lot. And I've been there for so long. We're a family. Like, the faculty has not changed much in the 11 years that I've been there. And they're all staying with me, too. I think only one of them had to leave, but she was going to leave anyway, um, just for uh, family reasons. Everyone's staying. And let me just tell you how weird it is that, like, the girl who was only there one day a week to teach some noisy tap dances is the one who's buying the studio. Like I was the least involved person mm -hmm. at that studio, but I was in my heart, I was really involved, but honestly, because I'm so spread thin, I have like my two companies and I've got my two jobs and I've got three studios and that I work at, not that I own, I only own one of them now. <laughs> um, I was the least involved person at that studio and suddenly I own it. Um, What's great is that everyone's on board. Everyone, like, is cheering me on. And I'm like, this is amazing. I'm also petrified because I don't want to let anybody down. I know I swooped in and saved the day and purchased it, but I also have to, like, run it now. But um, that's where that's where the reason he's in the video comes in. <laughs> They're like, is he going to do anything? <laughs> no, he's just going to sit well, here. 
Also, because we're getting married, like, any big financial decision is something that you should discuss with your partner. Even if you're not getting married, if you have a partner, you should Mm -hmm. probably discuss big financial decisions with them. So we discussed it. He was all in. He was like, go for it. He loves the studio, even though you actually teach for a studio that that is in direct competition with it. We'll get to that later. But um, you you love the studio. Mm -hmm. You love these kids. Mm -hmm. And... I've known some of these kids... Yeah. seven years i think yeah so yeah i've, I've seen these, some of these kids like one of them like she's she's off in college now i was like whoa, whoa i know whoa. it's they're not allowed to do that they're not allowed know. to grow up any Stop other dance growing. teacher you know what i'm talking about this like oh no they're not allowed to grow up this mm-hmm. is this is so unacceptable mm-hmm. um so i in a dance studio but yeah so um in my in my haste to save the day I then had to step back and go, oh, can I actually do this, though? Because I do have all these other things that I do. In addition to being a dance teacher at three studios, I am also a math and music teacher for currently two schools, but it's about to go down to one school. Full time, though. And I am also, I have my YouTube channel. So that's YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. That's That's all a job, and I take it very seriously, and I'm not willing to give it up. I am also a musician, so I am writing music. I am practicing to perform. Um, so that's that's a thing. And I also have Noise Complaint and Rhythm Theory, my two top companies that I am the artistic director for. So I'm always making dances, teaching dances, practicing them so I can perform them well, going on the road for shows. I'm a busy girl. So I'm sitting here like, can I do this? And then uh, one of my... One of my greatest superpowers is self-reflection and self-understanding. And no, I can't. I cannot do this. I hastily said, I'm going to buy a dance studio, so I did. And then I realized I can't. I can't run it. And I looked at him and I said, we're doing this together or I'm not doing it. And he goes, I thought we were doing it together in the first place anyway. I'm all in. (laughs) So (laughs) you didn't even hesitate. Mm -mm. And is this something you've always wanted? No. Had no... Had no desire to own a dance studio. Yeah, but does it come with a component that is something you've always wanted? Yes, it does, Jen. So here's the fun thing about this particular dance studio. It also has a visual arts program. He's always wanted to own his own visual arts studio and school. And now he does. (laughs) So he's overseeing the visual arts program. Mm -hmm. And he's overseeing the um, logistical stuff. So like, basically the, the day-to-day maintenance, the, yeah. uh, the marketing, things like that. She's going to handle... Social media. Because obviously media I figured out how to how to handle social media. I've done pretty okay. <laughs> and then I'm going to handle like the, the <laughs> physical marketing and then the day-to-day, hey, you know, light bulbs out. That yeah. kind of stuff. And then also I'm going to be handling... Making sure the, that we're up to date on our permits. Mm-hmm. Making sure like the, the logistical things, you know. And I'm over, going to oversee the art. Yeah, studio. He's going to be teaching art classes and overseeing the other art teacher and overseeing the program as a whole so that like the culminating um, activity, you know how dance studios have like a recital, Mm -hmm. obviously. Um, We're planning different culminating activities for the art program. Uh, One of the ones I'm really excited about is that the art students will get to showcase their work that they've done in like an art gallery that we're going to set up in the lobby of wherever we have the recital. Mm -hmm. So while everyone's waiting or even during intermission, they can not only see like their dancers perform, they can also see the visual artists and what they've done all year. Mm-hmm. So that's really what a recital is for, to show like how you've improved and what you've done mm-hmm. this year. And I think it's really important that the visual artists have that too. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. you get to own an art studio. So we were, we were excited, and then I started getting super petrified again because I realized that there's a piece of the puzzle that um, I'm still missing. Because if he's doing all that, I still have to handle the parents and the tuition and the, the drama and the ordering of costumes and the, like, the paperwork, and I can't. I just don't have time for that, and I don't have the emotional faculty for it like emotional you know Mm -hmm. and um one day I like kind of broke down a little bit I was like I can't do this I can't do this and we talked and we decided to bring on a third person because what I've learned is that I am better with a team 
than I am by myself. And I love that about myself. You know, I want to be a strong, independent woman that don't need no team. But, like, I'm not. I need a team. <laughs> so we brought on the, uh, the assistant director of Noise Complaint as one of the owners of this studio as well. So there's me, who I'm calling, well, okay, there's Andrea, that's the assistant director of Noise Complaint, and she is my best friend, and she's actually my maid of honor in my wedding, and she's just one of my favorite people on the planet. She's mm -hmm. my concert buddy. I love her so much. Um, sometimes I post pictures of she and I dancing on my Instagram, so you, she's, she was my Sailor Mercury to my Sailor Moon in one of the last pictures I posted. Hmm. Um... I guess I don't know when I'm putting this out, though. So, like, some time ago. Yeah, you'll see it if you go back a little. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, she is the CEO, Chief Executive, Executive Officer. Or no, COO. She's the COO, Chief Operations Officer. That's the one. I think. You're the CFO, Chief Finance. No, that doesn't make... <sighs> we should have thought this through before the vlog. She handles the operations of the business. He handles the logistics of the business. Mm -hmm. I handle the artistry and the social media of the business. So mm -hmm. I'm making I'm making the class schedule right now because I've worked there for so long. I know what the kids do. I know who takes what. I know how to make sure that classes don't overlap for certain kids. So I'm doing that. But other than that, my job is to you know decide the recital theme and oversee all the different programs that are happening. So I'm the artistic director, I guess, or the... CAO, Chief Artistic Officer. Panda, I guess, I call her Panda, too. Sorry. Panda, I guess, is the CFO, because she's Chief Financial Officer. Mm -hmm. And you're the COO, Chief Operations Officer. And together, there's a dance studio in Northeast Florida that is run and owned by three tap dancers. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> and the tap program at the studio is sick. Mm -hmm. Not just saying that, because, like, it's mine, I'm, but... No, <laughs> Yeah. No, it's got a great tap program at the studio. However, it's not what it's known for. The studio is known for ballet. Mm -hmm. And so everyone was like, oh no, is Jen going to change like the fact that this studio has like a heavy ballet concentration? And I was like, nope, nope. I'm not even adding any tap classes. We're just going to keep everything the same. Ballet is the central focus. And if people want to jam out with me, they can jam out with me. Mm -hmm. So very, very exciting things. And that's one of the reasons I've been so busy this summer. I just haven't, I didn't want to come on here and say anything until it was finalized. Mm -hmm. And it is officially finalized. And the three of us own the business. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. It's... We own a dance studio. It's like that movie, We Bought a Zoo. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like that's what I just did. I was like, well, yeah, well, we bought a zoo. Some of those kids are a little. That, little you know hype. what? That is my circus. That Those are my monkeys now. Yeah. So. <laughs> Those kids are awesome, though. I love them. I absolutely love them. They're all willing to pitch in and help paint this summer because mm -hmm. we, we had to get a new studio space. The other thing that came with purchasing the studio is that the studio had to move. Uh, they were running out of their lease, and the guy was being completely unreasonable about the re-up rate mm -hmm. and the amount of time on the lease. Um, so we had to find a new space, and we did, and we love it, but we have to, like, you know install the floor, build walls. It has no walls. I mean, it has the outside walls. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't have the inside ones separating the studio. So we have to build those. And it's it's going to be a summer full of work. And of course, we choose the summer that we're getting married <laughs> to do this. We were like, what are we doing in a month and a half? I have an idea. Let's buy a studio too. Yeah, so now we added all this to our plate. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's why, I, like I said, I'm just so overwhelmed and I'm going to try to keep up with things on this channel but that's why I've gone down to just doing one tutorial for right now per week because like or one choreography tutorial rather than multiple levels per song just because when I'm done filming I like immediately head to my computer and start doing like some of the scheduling work or I schedule a meeting with the teachers and then we talk for six hours because we're just those kind of people and then or like tomorrow night we're going to the studio to keep building the floors and stuff. Like I, we're just so busy. On top of we're still working, mm -hmm. we're still planning a wedding. Like after we finish this vlog, we're going into wedding planning. Mm -hmm. Got to figure out place settings. I don't know. We should have hired somebody to do this. <laughs> we do have your maid of honor. She's doing enough. <laughs> she made a whole spreadsheet for us today mm -hmm. with like all the financials, and I'm like, that's so good. Mm -hmm. I don't even know like. I can edit music like a pro, and that's one of the jobs that I'm going to have for the studio. I'm going to edit everybody's music so that all the edits sound 
it's so good. Um, that's one of my superpowers. But um, I forgot what I was saying. I was oh, I got so excited about my about edits. about like the um, financial. Oh project. yeah, I can use Adobe Audition. I can I can handle social media. I'm I'm technologically savvy. I can play some pretty advanced uh, user user interface video games. I can't use Microsoft Excel. It just baffles me. I can't. So I have two Excel pros on the team. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions you want to ask me, I would love to do a QA. and uh, a If you have any advice to give me, like if you have questions about this journey of opening a studio, I would love to answer them. So please ask them in the comments. I know I've been really behind on the comments and now you can see why. Um, but... Also, give me some advice if you have any uh, for opening a studio. If you own one or if you work at one, uh, I'm nothing will offend me. You can t- tell me anything that you want to tell me about it. I'm very nervous and scared. I feel like I feel like a new mom actually. Like, and I'm just like, ah, here's this thing. I don't know what to do with, but I know I love it and I know I want to nurture it and help it grow. Mm-hmm. Where do I begin? But this. <laughs> <laughs> like it's just scary mm-hmm. I know we'll find our groove mm-hmm. and we'll step into it perfectly but for now um, yeah uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's a really big adventure and I'm really excited so. Ooh, I'm so glad that you're excited I was so scared that you were going to be like nah you chose to do this but you're not that guy No, she was like when, when, when she told me about it she was like hey so there's an opportunity I really want to discuss with you. And I was like, okay, are we moving? <laughs> she, well, we've been trying yeah. to. <laughs> and she was like, and then she told me the scenario of what's going on. And she's like, I, I kind of told her I was already interested. She goes, I hope you're not mad. I was like, I think that's amazing. Like, we got so excited right then and there because we, A, we're saving this place for these kids. and that's really the motivation behind Mm -hmm. it and i think that's what's going to help it be successful is that we're doing this for the kids Mm -hmm. they come first for me always uh sometimes to my detriment (laughs) like yeah i'll be i'll be at the end of a six hour teaching day and the student's like can we work on something and i'm like my feet want to fall off and i'm like yes get in here let's do it (laughs) that's just me you know i think it's a lot of dance teachers too we just we do it for the kids Mm -hmm. we do it for the students doesn't matter if they're eight or 80, you know, four or 40, we, we do it for the students. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, this is going to be a fun journey. I'm so happy to have you guys on board. Uh, I, like I said, I'm much better in a team. I function very well in a team because I always know what my weaknesses are and I try to surround myself with people that can make up for them. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's an important part of working on a team is that you know where your strengths are, but you also know where your weaknesses are. And you can partner with people that can fill those voids. Mm -hmm. You know, you and Panda fill all the voids that I have. Like the the fact that I suck at disciplining. I'm 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 too easygoing. I'm way too easygoing. And if somebody acts up, I'm like, don't make me get. And then I list a teacher that's actually way more like, like strict. I just look scary. There's that too. <laughs> but I also know like that I am spread thin and I have to list that as a weakness. I have to. I know that that's, it's great that I do all these things, but like it's for this, it's a weakness. And I need to know that I can't be counted on for certain things. And because I know that, I make sure that I don't say I can do them and say, can you do that? Mm-hmm. Okay, can you do that? I know I can be counted on to do this. Mm-hmm. So I will do that. And I think that's important. So if you learn anything from this video, it's um, if you're going to work on a team, it's really important to know what your strengths and what your weaknesses are so that you know how you can best serve your team. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you can't do everything by yourself unless you're the kind of person that can. That's cool. I'm just not. Mm -hmm. Um, And it's good to share projects. Mm -hmm. If, uh, If you have people that you can trust and that you can work well with, I didn't ask my two besties because we're best friends. Like, don't do that. Don't go into business with your best friends just because you're best friends. I asked the person I'm going to marry. So we already make major financial decisions together. Mm -hmm. We already have been in stressful situations together and come out stronger. So this I know is, is good. 
And Panda and I run noise complaint together. We've run noise complaint together for eight or nine years now. Mm. I know I can work with her and work very well with her. Mm -hmm. So it's not that I just picked my besties. I was very selective about mm -hmm. who I did this with because I know that I can work with the two of you. And mm -hmm. we respect each other and we trust each other. Oh, trust yeah. is a big one. Like, as far as, like, the scheduling and stuff. I, I Where I teach, I know what time I teach. I go in and I teach. I have no clue who does what other classes. I don't know what, what classes my, other, my students are in. I would have no clue on how to organize the schedule and things like that. Mm -hmm. They're like geniuses at this thing. And I'm just, well, they're like, they're like, what do you think about moving this? It's, no it's hard. Anyone mm -hmm. who owns a studio or has to do the schedule of the studio, you know, it is so hard to like fit everything into mm -hmm. the right spot. And sometimes you have to put something somewhere. You're like, well, I guess not a lot of people are going to sign up for that because it's not at a good time, mm -hmm. but that's just the only place it can go. So you kind of like, you got to have a give and take with it. Mm -hmm. But I know the studio, I know how it's operated, and I know the best ways to make it work. Mm -hmm. So, And I also had a meeting with the teachers where I listened to what they wanted. One of the things they wanted, no more than three hours in a row. I can get behind that. Because mm -hmm. three hours in a row is hard. Especially for a lot of, like, I think three of us are f close to 40 or over. Mm. Like, 39, and then the other two are in their, like, late 40s. And it's like... Three hours in a row is hard. We're we're uh we're not spring chickens kind of thing, um, but even the twenty seven year old I can't believe she's twenty seven. She was oh, one of my students, twenty six or twenty seven. Even she was like not three more than three hours in a row. It's so much, and it is. It's a lot of physical activity three hours in a row and being bubbly and happy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like that takes more energy than actually dancing. Mm -hmm. So I tried to listen to that as best I could, and for the most part, I was able to. I think the only person that has more than three hours in a row is me so <laughs> now will <laughs> <laughs> well um but yeah i think i think it's gonna be really really good i'm very excited i am just over the moon um last couple of things i know some people might be wondering am i still gonna teach at the other studios that i'm teaching at currently um yes i am it's something that the three of us talked about and none of us are willing to give up the classes that we teach because we also love those kids so much. And the faculty at this studio was perfectly fine with us doing that. Mm -hmm. um, if we're, I don't think it's gonna affect the business in any way because we all teach on different nights and there's three owners. So there's definitely gonna be one person available on any given night. Mm -hmm. I teach at two other studios and I have no intention of stopping that, especially since, um, one of them told me that I'm not allowed to quit. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. I, when I said I was buying a dance studio, they're like, you're still going to teach here, right? You can't quit. And I was like, yeah, I'm pretty sure. They're like, yeah, because we won't let you. We're, we like you too much. I was like, hmm, mm -hmm. that's so sweet. And um, so, yeah, I'm not, I'm not leaving. So if you are one of my students over at one of my other studios, trust me, I'm not leaving you. I'm very, very happy to still be teaching you. Um, I just love it. And he's not leaving his studio either. Mm -hmm. So, But he's not teaching dance at ours, so there's no conflict of interest there. Mm -hmm. Even though the studio that you teach at is in direct competition with mm -hmm. us, he doesn't teach the same type of mm -hmm. class at all. Like, not even a dance class with mm -hmm. us. So, it's And the, the rest of the faculty was fine with it. Mm -hmm. And then the other, some of the others teach other places as well. So, as long as we're mature about it mm -hmm. and we can make sure that, to put the business first, like... We got this. And I know we can do this. Mm -hmm. If we can turn noise complaint from a bunch of kids tap dancing in a hallway at a con into what it is today, mm -hmm. we can do this. I know we can because it's us three. Mm -hmm. If it was just me, I don't know. I really don't. If it was just me, no. <laughs> I'd be like, what time do you want to teach? Cool. Go. For it. <laughs> <laughs> but as a team, we're yeah. strong. Yep. So... Hopefully you guys enjoyed this edit. Sorry, the video was a little long. Um, but yeah, we're edit. edit. I don't, I mean update. I meant update. It's been a long day, actually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's been a very busy Sunday. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this update. I hope that you're super excited for us. And uh, again, if you have any tips or you have any questions, I am happy to converse with you. I will take any suggestions or any tips that you have. And I will answer any questions that you have. And I'm just, I'm just so excited. And thank mm -hmm. you for being on this journey with me. Thank you for inviting me on it. I'm, I love it. <laughs> I'm excited. So yeah, we'll give you lots of updates. Um, I'll post the social media accounts for our new studio. 
That's still weird. I'll post the social media accounts in the description below if you want to follow them because I'm the one in charge of the social media, so you'll get to see some pretty cool things. Um, but yeah, mm -hmm. cool. I hope you guys have had fun. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and join the tap fam. For a second, I was like, wait, if this is my, this is for my channel. This is my job. So hit the subscribe button, join the tap fam. We have vlogs and updates like this, but mostly this is a um, tap tutorial channel. So we have choreography tutorials, step tutorials to just learn like a step. We've got technique exercises um, and then vlogs like this. So it's a lot of fun on this channel. Please join the tap fam. The best way to support this channel is to subscribe because I get to do a lot of cool things once I hit the next milestone. So hit that subscribe. Also hit the thumbs up because it helps every tap dance channel when you hit the thumbs up on tap dance videos because then YouTube goes, oh, people like tap dance and then it starts pushing it out more. Mm -hmm. So hit that thumbs up on all the tap dance videos that you can, all right? Cool. Well, thank you for joining me. Thanks for having me. And as always, thank you for dancing with me.